Today we will be studying and documenting the queer and exciting nature of the Northeastern Canadian hipster. We are going to be looking at some of the Northeastern Canadian hipster habitats and studying their behavior within their environment. I have covered my body in standard tribal hipster regalia in hopes that I will be accepted into their community. I hope they won't remove my skin. The hipster, often rumored to be the evolved distant cousin and subspecies of the skater. Punk, nerd, and sometimes metalhead is an extremely perplexing specimen and has been spotted in Canada within the last 10 years. Today we're getting up close and personal. Hipsters can be found in many locations, like a local thrift shop. Or local coffee shops, often referred to here in the north as a Starbucks. Or in this location, a Twigs. Standard hipster regalia often includes ironically large glasses, ironic Victorian boots, shirts ironically buttoned all the way up to the neck, watches that may or may not work, large curly mustaches from the 1910s, and haircuts from the 1910s. Researchers have often theorized that hipsters generally believe that they are living in the 1910s, ironically. The daily behaviors of the Canadian hipster are as following. They can often be found ironically listening to vinyl records and pretending to like jazz, smoking a tobacco pipe in numerous places, or conversing with other hipsters about how they knew something long before the other. Northeastern Canadian hipster.